After my recent Daiquiri series, I've had many, many calls from you guys asking me to take a look at the Mai Tai. Now, the only problem with the Mai Tai, for a cocktail with just simply five ingredients, there are so many different moving parts. So to come up with the definitive best ever Mai Tai, something that Kevin Crossman has been trying to do since 1998 with his ultimate Mai Tai brand. Yeah, that's something that's really never gonna happen. So instead, I wanna take a few videos to help you think about your own personal Mai Tai recipes. Because after all, the best Mai Tai is the Mai Tai that's in your hand right now. Oh, and by the way, when I say five ingredients, I'm counting the rum as one. Hey rum fans, I'm Steve the Barman and I'm here to help you on your rum journey by mainly focusing on rums under 50 pounds. And if you want even more help on your rum journey, if you wanna make rum friends, coming to my Discord is absolutely free. But if you want even more help and even more fun, then click that join button under any video. You can come and join, be in my membership community, access to uh, the inner sanctum as we call it, the membership area of Discord. But you also get the chance to get involved with the taste alongs on my Sunday night live shows uh, where we get brands on to talk about their rums. You get the chance to sample those with us. And that is just one of the many perks of my membership community. So come and join us. So then, the my time, what is it? And why is there so much hysteria about it? Now look, there's a ton of information out there about the Mai Tai. Even on YouTube, there are so many videos. I do not need to go into all that. You can go and research that. I'm not about making the same videos over and over again. But to give you the very brief highlights, Trader Vic invented this in 1944, and it is traditionally classed as the tiki cocktail because it's all about the blend of rums that you use in this cocktail, which is then perfectly balanced with lime juice, with orange liqueur, and your sort of almond, your orgeat syrup. And I've even seen recipes with bitters in there as well, but that's completely up to you. Now, I also think part of the hysteria about this cocktail comes from one of the rums that Trader Vic uh, used in his original recipe. And it's kind of a rum that, from the stories I've heard and the stories I know, it's kind of come from a rum that was never really produced properly. Uh, and that was uh, the Rain Nephew, 17 year old. Rain Nephew, from the stories I've heard, Rain Nephew essentially did a 15 year old rum, but because during the war, all that had to be put on, uh, put on hold, the 15 year old was actually aged for an extra two years, creating the Rain Nephew, 17 year old. But of course, because of the war, because of the war there was no massive stocks of this. So the 17, the Rain Nephew, 17, came and went like, just like that. So I think that's where the bulk of the hysteria comes from about this cocktail. But to my knowledge, there isn't really another cocktail that really showcases a blend of rums, sometimes three, sometimes four rums, that really showcases that harmonious blend in a cocktail just like this. I mean, there's no other cocktail I can think of where the rums literally make or break the cocktail because this cocktail with the ingredients it uses, there is nothing in there to really mask the taste. Now, as you'll see in a minute, uh, when I show you how to make this, the Mai Tai can be one rum, or more traditionally, it's actually a blend of three or four different rums. Now, we're gonna get into all that in future videos, but of also, you can, you can have a bit of fun with this as well, because you can sort of swap out that one rum, and you could use something, say, like, pineapple st um, plantation stiggins fancy, and you can make a pineapple Mai Tai as easy as that. Also note, there are some recipes out there where Mai Tais do include juice, uh, primarily pineapple juice, but I've also seen others where they have a blend of pineapple and orange juice. But the important thing to note with that, the juice should not drown the rum. This is not a fruity punch cocktail. This is a boozy, rum forward, well, balanced cocktail where that citrus really does come through. So over the next few videos, I'm gonna systematically break down the Mai Tai, all those moving parts and really get you thinking. So I wanna help you create your own version, your own signature recipe. And before I show you how I've made this, I just need a quick favor from you, please. Well, actually two. And no, I'm not gonna ask you to like the video or subscribe, you can do if you want, but I'm not here to that. I wanna get your feedback. Because at the moment, while I have a loose sort of plan for these videos, 
I want you guys to get involved. So there are two things that you can do for me. If you've got any questions or anything you want to know or want to see me feature over the next few videos with regards to the Mai Tai, then let me know in the comments below. But also, if you've already been down your own little Mai Tai journey, I wanna hear from you as well because I want you to put your recipes, your ratios and your blend of rums in the comments below. Let's get some recipes out there. Who knows, in future videos, we might even do a little comparison of some of your Mai Tai recipes if I've got the rums behind me. Bearing in mind, there's a lot of authentic sort of Mai Tai rums that are just the US and the Caribbean that we don't get in the UK. Okay, your stuff like your Hamiltons, your Den Denizens, your Cruzans, all that sort of stuff we do not get in the UK. So there may be some substitutes, but I just want to see all your Mai Tai recipes that you've created so far. Now, I'm not saying this is my perfect Mai Tai, the blend of rums or anything like that. Heck, I know by the end of this series, I'm going to change my mind at least five times with different rum blends and all that. But I just wanted to keep things simple. So for you guys that have never made a Mai Tai before or never seen a Mai Tai, I'm going to show you uh, how to make it as easy as possible with minimal ingredients. All right, so I didn't want to peak too early with rum blends. I didn't want to go into that for the very first video. Uh, they will come out in video two, three, four, whatever, however many we're going to do. But what I've got instead is a multi distillery blend of uh, a rum. So we've got Lost Year's uh, Fort Island here. We've got it's a blend of Jamaica, uh, Barbados, Dominican Republic and a tiny bit of agricole in there. So if you were going for one rum to do a four, I'm not saying it's the best rum, but it's a very good contender for one rum fits all. So we've got a rum, we've got our orange curacao, which we're gonna go into, we've got our orgeat, which we're gonna go into, uh, we've got sugar, which we're gonna go into as well, and some lime juice, very, very easy. So uh, first ingredient, 60 ml, double bubble of your rum, Let's just give you a little close up of that. So that's that. Lost Year's uh, Four Islands. So for, uh, 60 mil of that. This is my orange curacao. I'm not going to tell you what this is or anything. It's actually my orange blend at the moment. Uh, but we're going for 15 mil of orange in there. I'm going to do match that with 15 mil of my orjat. Orjot. Orjit. Boy, we got, I haven't said that for a while, have we? Orjit. <laughs> We've got to rock that out. So 15 mil of that. Uh, I'm then going to do a tiny bit of sugar. Uh, seven and a half mil. Seven and a half mil. So a quarter of an ounce. Perfect. And then just, uh, I'm actually going 30 mil. Uh, one ounce of uh, freshly squeezed lime juice. And we need the lime juice. We're freshly squeezed for the garnish. All right. Now, hopefully you would have gathered I'm going to flash blend this. So I'm just going to put... Uh, supermarket ice. I call it supermarket ice. This sort of not brilliant ice, if you know what I mean. Uh, so we've got supermarket ice there. I'm going to flash blend. I've got two larger agitated cubes. I'm just gonna, literally going to flash blend it for about five seconds. And then to serve this up, I'm using my proper Mai Tai glass. Thank you once again, Mr. Mark Thomas, for sending me. I've got two. I've got two. The other one's, the other one's got my kind of selection. Oh, I need that out as well. Uh, kind of other syrups and stuff there. But thank you very much, Mark, for sending me that. I've, I've always wanted proper Mai Tai glasses. So... Just going to dump that in there. We're going to add a bit of crushed ice. It says, there we go. Bit of crushed ice. And then the pièce de résistance. Yeah, there we go. Sort of loosely crushed ice. Uh, might as well use that. I forgot all about that. There we go. Uh, we want, the reason you need freshly squeezed lime juice is you want the, the, uh, the lime husk there. I always put them that way, but traditionally they go because it is an island. That's what it's supposed to be. They're supposed to go that way up. But I think they look a lot better because what you can do then is you can put the little, the, the, uh, the little cherry in top like that. And then you just literally need uh, a whole mint bush, whole sprig of mint. There we go. Lovely fresh mint. Finally getting some decent mint now. And there we go. That is a simple Mai Tai using one rum. And that is absolutely phenomenal. Absolutely love that. Crack on and make a Mai Tai for yourselves.